Hi guys, this is Shar with an other video on Easy Math. Today we are going to learn a brand new concept called as indefinite integration. Okay, I know all of you may tell integration is a tough part, so I will explain you. First, let's start by a concept called as primitive or antiderivative of a function. Let phi of x be a function and phi dash of x or the derivative of phi of x be f of x. Let the derivative of phi of x be f of x. Then phi of x is called the primitive of the f of x. Or if phi of x is the primitive of the f of x, then d by dx of phi of x plus c is also phi dash of x, which is also f of x. Means if phi dash of x is f of x or the derivative of phi of x is f of x, then phi of x is called the primitive of the f of x. And not only phi of x, the function phi of x plus c plus a constant, c is an arbitrary constant which varies. Phi of x plus c is the primitive of f of x. From this you may know that phi of x plus c, c is an arbitrary constant. It may be any constant. You can have infinite, infinity number of constants, right? Means for a function f of x, there will have you will have infinity, infinity primitives, infinity number of primitives, which vary with a constant. Now let's see what is indefinite integration. What is called the indefinite integral and what, how to represent it. Indefinite integral. The indefinite integral of a function f of x is nothing but the primitive of that function. All the primitives of that function are called as indefinite integrals of a function f of x. Let f of x be a function, then the indefinite integral of f of x is represented by integral of f of x dx. This is the symbol of the integral. This is called the symbol of the integral. And f of x is called the integrand, the function which, which, whose integral we are calculating. The function whose integral we are calculating is called as f of x or the integrand. And the variable x is called, f of x is a function of variable x. So x is called the variable of integration. And you may observe here dx. What does it dx mean? dx mean differential of x. Just the differential of x. It is not the differential of x. It is not respected to anything. With respect to x or y, it, there is no need to denote that. It is just differential of x. Now, if d by dx of phi of x plus c is f of x, then integral of f of x dx is nothing but phi of x plus c. This process or this process of integration or this process of finding indefinite integral is called indefinite integration. Now you may be wondering how can we represent this graphically? The differential represents the slope of the function at that particular point or in other words it represents the change in the function at that particular point. Now let's see wh what is indefinite integral represented as graphically. Graphical representation of integrals. How to represent integrals graphically? First, let's start by knowing what, what is the differential of a function graphically. Okay, as you can see here we have a function. It looks like a saying curve, but let's take it as a function. We have a function and we have derivative of that function at some point on that function. Now, as you can observe, it denotes the slope at that particular point. Slope means nothing but the change in the variable, the change in x with respect to the change in y. Or the change in y with respect to the change in x. That is called the slope. Means it denotes the change of that function at that particular point. Or if we take that reverse, in another words, if f, f dash of x denotes the change of the function, f of x denotes the value of the function at that particular point. Or 
If you observe carefully, the value is nothing but the distance between x-axis and that point on the curve or on the function. Means it denotes the perpendicular distance from x-axis to the point on the function. It means that here f dash of x, let f dash of x be the integrand, then f of x is the indefinite integral of that function, right? So f of x denotes in indefinite integral denotes sum of those lengths. Indefinite integration denotes sum of those lengths at any value of x or at different values of x. Sum of those, sum of those values or sum of those perpendicular lengths. Okay, what is this sum? If we take a triangle, you can draw infinity lines perpendicular to the base, right? You can draw infinity points perpendicular to the base. If you add the length of all those points, what will we get? If you add sum of those infinite perpendicular lengths, you will get the area of that, right? You will get the entire space occupied by that particular function or that graph. It is the same. Here also, if we add the length of those lengths of those values, or the length of the perpendicular distances from x-axis to the point on the function at different values of x or at all values of x, then you'll get area under that function. So, indefinite integral denotes the area of that or the area covered by that function or area under that function at, from, at any values. It denotes the area of the function at any values. If you want the area of that part of that function in particular part means when the x value varies from 2 to 3 or 3 to 4 or from any value to an other value then you should use the indefinite integration you learn that after but for now we will discuss the equation of that area the equation which denotes that area it is called the indefinite integration Okay guys, this is for today's video. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you not, comment down below why you haven't. If you have any doubts, comment down below and answer them in the next video. In next video on integration, you will discuss some standard formula in integration like integral of sin x, cos x, sin inverse of x and all.